Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen with my niece Hadley and we are going to make a peach cobbler. And these are all the ingredients you need, so let's get started. We have greased a nine by 13 casserole dish and I have put one stick of salted butter and we are going into a 350 degree oven until the butter is melted. In a large measuring cup or a mixing bowl, whatever you have, we're going to start with, tell me what we have. One cup of- One cup of salt. Nope, one cup of flour. One cup of flour. You put a cup of salt, I don't think I'd want to eat it. <laughs> All right, one cup of flour. Now we're going in with a cup of sugar. Half teaspoon baking powder. So we've whisked all of our dry ingredients together and now we're going in with a cup of whole milk. Can I mix it? You can mix it. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Now we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we just pulled our butter out of the oven. It is sizzling and it's hot. I made sure she's not gonna touch this. So and we're going to pour our batter in while the butter is hot. And the batter mixed chocolate. <laughs> the what? It was mixed chocolate. We're gonna add in one 29 ounce can of peaches and heavy syrup. And that will go, do not stir this. Once you put it in, just pour it in and let it be. This is going back in a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until the top is golden brown. All right, our cobbler is done. We took it out of the oven at exactly 45 minutes and this is what it looks like. We're going in for a taste test. All right, here we go. Not good. That's good, y'all.